Hello and welcome to another Nikomeda tutorial. A few people asked me uh, if I can show how to make this style of render here uh, from this guy here. I don't know uh, how it's called or how to say it, but Google says it in, in, uh, means Ash Day and it sounds like. Okay, <laughs> so it is from this guy and it does something like this. So you see takes some of these pictures and then I want to show you how to make this style of this pastel style here so let's make just uh, some primitives and some objects and let's light them and let's do it so we start with an with a floor and the wall so I make a plane here just a simple thing so let's say something like that. Let's make a camera, the front camera. So I go to here, and the rotation null and null. So x null, and I put a protection tag on it so we can. So I only want to can change to be able to change the z and y axis. So, nice, and then I copy this plane and go to plus Z here, put it more behind or in, no, something like that. Of course, we can change this later on. It's just to have uh, something uh, to, to put something on. So, <laughs> okay. And now, uh, let's make some uh, colors for the floor and the wall. But we do just this is this pastel style is when you look. It's this is uh, just without reflection. There is no reflection on it. Nothing. This is just a color pastel color. So for the floor, I take something like a greenish color. So something like that. Okay, so this is the floor. And of course I put it on the floor. And this is the wall. So let's see here I don't know something like that. Very pastelish. <laughs> okay on the wall and now I make just one uh, object to, for the light so they see if the light is okay drop this on the floor this is drop to, uh, drop to floor this plugin and you find the plugins all in, my, in the description so you can download it later okay and if you render this now I want to render with, with now when we render it looks like this so we should see something boring but I want to render with GI of course so you see nothing at the moment we need a light so for this this story, I think this is the first tutorial I do we don't need the Nicometa scenery <laughs> we need just a light and so let's put the light inside and this should be an omni light so this is okay and put it somewhere higher and in the front a little bit and here somewhere on the side then we have now GI on if this is okay I don't need ambient occlusion so let's see what we get okay we have a nice light with ambient occlusion and here in the light I want shadows and then want hard shadows so I go to hard and you see we have a hard shadow here you could make this with an uh, with an area shader too but you see this is not so hard so, so we I want a hard shadow here 
this is the style. Okay, so I can delete the cube, I know it's all nice. And now let's bring in some some objects. Uh, poo, what do we, <laughs> I did not think about, but uh, what can we put in a platonic object? And I want it on the wall here behind, so something like that. There is, your fantasy has no borders here, so do whatever you want. So, something like that, but I want a buckyball here, maybe, yes, better. Now I go out of my camera for the moment and I want to do something here, so let's go to. Uh, I make this editable, but with T it's unit keyboard, just hit unit keyboard and it's editable. And I delete this. Uh, I soldered this for the moment. Da -da -da, here. As I said, the, the plugins you will find uh, in the description. This is what I use now as Magic Solo. We have a solo here in, in Cinema 4D2, but I prefer the Magic Solo from Nitro Man. So. MN for dissolve, or if you have an earlier version as L10, just go to right click and dissolve it here. Just. Oops. This is done very fast, you see, this is not really work. So, and here one. And I think we are done. Yes, we are. Done. Good. Out of the solo mode. In the now I go in polygon mode and select all the polygons. I for inner extrude. Preserve groups no. And let's say about two centimeters should be okay. Yeah, maybe more. Three. Or even four. Okay, let's say 4. And I delete the polygons. Just hit delete on your keyboard. Then, here we have the Pi Extrude Game Generator. I, I like this really, the, the, these generators and deformers here and modifiers. You will find a link in the description. This is from, from Axon Labs. And so this is more than an, uh, an extrusion, but, but uh, you can change it later on. So I go to my panoramic here. Alt on the keyboard and click on this and you see I have an extrusion, I want in a minus, let's say minus 3 and like in the extrusion you can say create caps and you see now we have it extruded but we can still later on change everything and this is very nice okay we have this here and the camera, go in the camera and give this some pastelic color <laughs> Let's see, okay, this is the platonic. Platonic and poof. Yeah, let's see, some yeah, greenish too, but very light ones. So, so. Oh, come on, put under the blue. Okay, give it to the platonic guy. Let's render it and see what we get. It's nice, okay. I like the shadows here, that this is, looks really nice. But maybe let's go with the light a little up so the light comes from above and not from the sides. So. Yeah, that's better. And I have seen in one of his pictures, of this guy's pictures, he has uh, here something like a glass tube. Let's make a glass tube too, because I think it looks nice. So just let's make a tube. So uh, we make a tube with torus. Ta da! Torus. Key for scale. And 
it in plus six. Bring it a little up behind me, yes. And I want it just here. Uh, something like that. Give it more segments so we have a really round thing. Give it 100, why not? And we need a new uh, material, torus. Uh, we need it here just transparency. But if we use just transparency without any ref uh, refraction here, we get something like this. And this is nothing. So we need refraction. Let's say 1.1, uh, let's see what we get. This will get something, but it's too less. Let's go high. Let's try this. Ah, this looks interesting. Good, nice. We have here some reflections from this buckyball here. This is okay. But what we miss is shadows here. Of course, we have a transparent ma material and so we don't get shadows here. And for this, there is a, a trick. We do. We copy this torus. And let's say this is our Tordos shadow. You can use this for, for uh, glasses or something else too if you need it. And we give this an compositing tech. And we need nothing here. We don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this. Just cast shadows. Okay. But now is this still no shadows? And here, here we have a matte object. Click on it. Ta da! And we have shadows. Okay. But I see I want this. Put this in one thing so we don't need. If we, if we move this so we move both together with the shadow and the. Because on the wall is not really nice. No. Yeah, that looks better. So this looks a little boring from the moment. Uh, let's make something more. Uh, a few days ago, I made a, a flying spaghetti monster colander. <laughs> we could use this and bring it in, maybe. <laughs> Let's try it. I don't know how it will look, but uh, this must be here somewhere. Yeah, this is the PR version, okay. Oh, not here. Then let's go here. Yeah, this is my fl flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> Grenada, and here we have. Yeah, this will, I think this is the Octane version, but it doesn't matter. Let's open it. Uh, this is the Octane version, but let's put it in without. Okay, let's see this. With noodles or without noodles? Oh, we do it with noodles, but here without. Okay. Here without this, this. I don't need the... I like the materials because they have the, the correct uh, selection tag uh, in it, so... I light it and take this here and control C and I go in my other project. Stop the control V. Now I have it here. I, have, I don't need these three guys here. I not just need the texture text. And of course, this must be. Uh, smaller and I want the noodles too, I said. So copy and paste it in. All in one group. Flying spaghetti monster with aim, not monster. It's a monster. 
And T for scale, let's first deactivate the subdivision. T for scale. And R. Uh, by the way, you can download this guy on my website. Uh, here on the Comedia. At you will find the link in the descriptions. Uh, you find it under the downloads. You have it here. It's here we have. Uh, here we have. Come on, let's go down here. Uh, come on. We have a, a. We have an Octane version, you see, and a PR version. So you, you have both. It's so heavy with with the. <laughs> With the 1080p here, so here we have a Octane version and a PR version. So, and if you want to donate, click here. You can write in here whatever you want. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, that's that thing. Good so far. Now we have this monster, and we need. First, I want to bring back my subdivision surface. So, and. Uh, NI, so NI for the, the isopalms view and make a material for the colander here or colander, colander, colander so this is something like an orange orange okay uh, maybe I do it a little fast uh, at the moment, but uh, if it's uh, so tell me please when it's, it's too fast. But you can imagine I'm really busy at the moment and uh, I hate it to say, but uh, but I wanted to make something in this tutorial, this, 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 so this is time enough. Uh, so yes, but uh, the time it will be better, so uh, it's in the f maybe I'll make a, a short holiday another time out. I want to take some advantage from the nice weather, and, and then uh, I'm ready with my with my uh, bigger jobs, and then I have more time for for the tutorials and so. So if you're waiting for the tutorial, that I promised I do it. So please uh, be a little patient. You you are patient. I know you are old patient, but uh, I, I will I will do more in, in the future. But at the moment it's simply not possible. Sorry. So. Then we this is for what is this the eyeball this is white so let's copy this uh, eyeball white yeah, not totally white so put it on this one and this is then the pupil. I don't know if it, oh, I think this is correct. And make it black. And you see everything without a uh, reflection channel. So we have n nowhere, not even in the, <laughs> not even in the transparency. No more, but, you to, but you don't need it, you see. We have never, no uh, thing. And we need a noodle material. <laughs> but uh, it is a pastel, so it's, it, it's art. So we don't make the real noodles like I did here. Uh, yeah. Here you see it, that's, that's uh, the render. And the, the noodles, I like the noodles here. So <laughs> but this is done in Octane, this is, it, it was a little, e little bit easier. So noodles, noodles. And make it some so something like that maybe and put it on the noodles and let's see what we get needs a little longer to render with <laughs> oh yes <laughs> oh yes I like it <laughs> Okay, but the little this is a little dark here in between. So what I do here is I give a little luminance on it. 
not too much, otherwise we get this. But get this or brightness, let's try 50. It's too much. 30. Make you a noodly color too. Noodle color. <laughs> Yeah, but if it's too dark, we can make a second light just to light the whole scene. So let's make here another light. So, so. And put this light somewhere above here and maybe behind the, the wall. It doesn't matter. So I mean, it's just to have a little uh, fill light or something like that. That is too bright, of course, but so go to down to 50. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I like this guy so much. Uh, yes, so far so good. Did you see that the eye here in the, in the oopsie? in the reflection <laughs> looks, looks great so and if you think it's here too dark so just put the light uh, put this light here take this light and put it somewhere to the side here <laughs> what was this? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, okay, why not? And yeah, this is... It is okay, but I don't think the light makes a lot of difference here. Oh, it does. It does. Okay. So... What we could do is, if it's too dark here, we could, could do a, here maybe a little luminance too, so. Yeah, you see now, it, now it looks better, I think. Good, so let's... The noodles are a little too bright maybe now. Let's see how uh, that Better. And uh, put down something here. What, what can we put here? Uh, foo, 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 foo. Let's make ends here. So I want NH, so NH to bring back uh, the normal wireframe, not the isopunks. And I disabled the subdivision service. You see how how it's made? It's not that totally simply made. So T for scale. Scale down. Move it a little bit front. Scale it down. I know what I can do with this. Get it as here and give it motion, mo graph and give it an extrude. Hold the shift key, click on extrude, and so in mo extrude, of course. Let's say here, oh, hold it, 10. And here to about 0.5. I have shown it in the last tutorial, I think. If you select all these three, so we click on the X, hold your Shift key and click on the Z, so you've selected all. 
And now if you put in one number, let's say 0 0.5, and then hold your control key and click enter. So you have the number everywhere. Okay. And put this in a subdivision surface. And we get something like this here. <laughs> Why not? Can I? So, and how can we texture this? Take this here and maybe make this with a, with a gradient. Let's try a gradient. Yes. I open it here. Let's see. Something like this to something like this here. Okay. Put the gradient on our new guy here. But here we need a Go to the, to the texture deck and go to pack cubic mapping. Right click fit the object. Yes. Now I see it better and uh, let's see what we get. Yeah, we have this gradient here. Okay. That is nice. <laughs> nice shadow. And here is something, Pooh, what can we put here? Uh, oh, take the thing here, E for the move to, and move this a little back into the side here, so, and, ah! <laughs> Let's see if this is a good idea. I don't tell nothing now and just do it. NH so that, that I see it in my wireframe. Okay, I make a cylinder this so far you see so, so much you see. And I go back with my cylinder. Make it not so high, so this is high enough. So like this up here, something like here. Now we have it here. Let's go to here. Whoop. Okay. Let's make this one smaller here. This down. Here I want a slice. Let's see something like that. I think you can imagine what I do. Okay. Then make another cylinder. Drag it to here without the slice. T for scale. Uh, no, don't T for scale, we no, need just the radius. Scale the radius. <laughs> One, hold the control key and the shift key so we can copy again. Control shift key, copy. But uh, let's make it far, more far. 50, yeah, that's better. <laughs> and Take this one, copy it, and drag it to somewhere like here. And a little out of here, just a little. And the radius even smaller. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Another material and now you know it back man <laughs> clear the gradient and make a yellow color give it on our 
back command necessarily. Okay, this is the eyeball. We can take the color of this eyeball. I don't know that it, the pupil is a black eyeball, as far as I remember. Yeah, this is a, definitely a black eyeball. Uh, and we can take the eyeball white for these guys. For the food. <laughs> Control, drag it to copy. So, and now I want to make a little fillet here. Say three segments and 0.5 should be more than enough here. Just to have a little edge here. Same I do here and here. Three segments. I could have selected all together. So. Okay, <laughs> now let's see what we get. Oh. Subdivision surface here. <laughs> it's like marshmallows. It's, it's nice. But maybe you need more shadow here, longer shadows. So. Let's go to here, to the light, -da -da. make longer shadows, a little longer shadows, oh, let's go with the light, to, I don't want to go, we could bring these things a little back here. Here is the torus, this guy. Let's bring everything a little back. So this is our torus, this is our platonic. Let's bring it down here. This is our flying spaghetti monster and our subdivision thing here. And make all, oops, ins back. Don't want to move to this and this. Little to the background, so let's move this guy a little in the front. Don't know what it <laughs> is, but now we have it. Okay, and again, let's go to the light here. Interaction light. Okay. I think this is what I like. Look at this funny reflection here. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> yeah, nice. We have some pastel art thing here. <laughs> maybe you could light it from here, from this side, maybe it's a little dark here. But for me it's okay, but maybe this is too dark. Did I? Yes, I the occlusion is off. Maybe when I uh, try it with, with, with the light mapping or the other map, but we can put a light here somewhere again. Let's try with this light. Let's play with this light a little bit and let's see what we can do with this. Oh, 
Okay. That's a little too much. You. Nice. Now I will make an, a nice render out of this, a, a higher render, so I'm back in a second. Okay, I w it would not be uh, necessary to, to, to break here, then you can record the seat 36 seconds. So, what I see is what I like. So, uh, I see here we don't have the, the gradient I wanted, and here maybe we. Ah, this is this is okay. But maybe maybe we can bring here out here the luminance. So let's try more. This uh, this here this is the gradient. Let's go to this gradient. This is this one here, and these are no noodles. This is the spiky thing. Spiky. So, and here with the gradient, I go to 3D linear. Let's see how this looks. Oh, we have to go down this. Oh, I have gone already down. Okay. Well, let's see if it makes much difference. Let's bring more color in it. So, yeah. It does definitely, definitely something. But I want it here and here maybe. Like that. Just put them aside here. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I don't know what this should, but yeah, we don't need this, but it, it's here now. And, <laughs> and here, deactivate the. Because we have enough light now here, so yeah, we don't need the luminance here. Maybe we can make this even brighter. Yes, we had it before, so 80. It looks more friendly if it's brighter, I think. Okay. Why not? I would say this is what we can take. And if you want to do... Yeah, put in your whole thing. The only uh, thing here is don't use the don't use a reflection here. We don't need any reflection, as you see. This everything is okay here without reflection. And maybe just marshmallows. Uh, yeah, but I like this. This is over white more than this. It is okay for me. Maybe here now for the platonic something, some other color. But there, there are no rules, so. I don't know. There are not enough colors <laughs> for something stupid. Let's see. Yeah, maybe better. But this is too, too, uh, too near to the orange. Bah, <laughs> too green. <laughs> and this is the same, almost like the flower. Bang. Is almost the same like the wall. That doesn't matter. Let's don't don't do. Uh, I do don't do it too much with it. 
you know now how it works and the only thing is you need normally you need just one light source and maybe a second one to, to, to fill light a little bit this is this no uh, no specular as a no, re no reflection and yeah and don't forget here when you have uh, when you have glass make uh, if you need shadows make just a second one here the second thing and put a compositing tag on it and disable everything except uh, except cast shadow of course and then activate matte object that's it then you get a nice shadow with it as it would be an an uh, opaque uh, object yeah yeah this is our picture i hope you like this sorry that i don't have more time but uh, as i said uh, soon it will be better so i think uh, so from middle september on it, it i have more time and, and uh, then I want to make something for my Patreons too, so some exclusive tutorial and some nice uh, downloads. Yeah, to the downloads, if you want to download the guy with the textures and with the original textures and everything, go to my website, the, the, the links are in the description. You can download it there the, uh, for the physical render or for Octane. Then, uh, if you want to donate, you will find a link too. If you want to support me on Patreon, you will find a link in the description. What a surprise! <laughs> and yeah, uh, if you want to be up to date, so I recommend to subscribe on my Facebook site if you haven't already done. And yeah, and that's it for today. And yes, uh, is there something more to say? No, not really. Yeah, that's it so far. Yeah, and please uh, be so kind. Uh, I made a uh, Facebook group so so where you can post your tutorial uh, results and especially li uh, in tutorials like this where you have totally free uh, let 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 play with your fantasy. Let's uh, do whatever you want and especially when tutorials like this, I want to see what what's going on in your brain. <laughs> so. <laughs> So please, please, please uh, show me your results. I really would appreciate it. So, okay. So have a nice Sunday, uh, for rest of the Sunday. So some hours Sunday. <laughs> and yeah, that's it for the day. And I wish you all the best from Vienna. And so I say tschüss und baba.